Chiggy Richo's Atlantic Salmon in Florentine Sauce. Hi and welcome to Chiggy Richo's Atlantic Salmon with Florentine Sauce. This recipe has come about as a request from Ray who frequents the Babbins restaurant in Houston in Texas and this is his favourite dish. I haven't been there and I don't actually have the recipe but I have checked out what appears to be in it and this is our version of it. Hope you like it Ray. Let's get started. To a pan over medium heat, we are going to add our oil and our butter. We're going to fry our seasoned salmon until it's just cooked and then prepare a cream sauce for it, which contains prawns, scallops. It traditionally contains crawdads, but I can't get them at the moment. So I've got some lovely Australian tiger prawns, which have a very similar texture and flavor. We'll just heat our butter and oil. Just while our pan is coming to here, we're going to add our cream to another pan and we're going to reduce that right down at our wine as well. And that's what we're going to poach our seafood in. Then mix around, we're just gonna reduce that. Also going to add a little bit of garlic to our cream sauce just for flavor. Just crush that in there. Okay, our pan's nice and hot now. We're just going to sprinkle some pepper onto the bottom of our fish, onto the skin side of our fish. I like to cook the salmon skin side down with some lovely sea salt flakes and just pop that straight into that hot pan and do the same with the other one. And sprinkle some on the top as well. A little bit of pepper in with our cream. And we'll add the salt after we've added our seafood. Check the seasoning. Okay, now because this is a Florentine sauce, it actually contains spinach. So I've got some lovely fresh spinach here. We're just going to chiffonade that because, let's roll it up tight. I don't want to put it in the food, food processor because if I do that, you're going to end up with something that looks like our green eggs and ham. And let's not have that happen. Great for green eggs and ham, but not for Florentine sauce. Thing. Okay, our wine and cream sauce is reducing nicely. Just keep that stirring. Our fish is coloured halfway up. Do you see it's coloured halfway up there? It's time to turn it over. Time to turn it over. The skin's lovely and crispy. And we don't want to overcook this. We're just going to get it so it's just slightly pink in the centre. So we'll turn the heat right down. Okay, to check if our fish is cooked, we just turn it over. Stick a knife into the center of the thickest part and just pull it apart. You should still be able to see a little bit of pink towards the center. It's still moist. And see it's a bit pink in the center there? No, you can't. Okay. You see it's still a bit pink in the center there? Okay, you just turn that over. Don't worry about that. It's going to be covered with sauce anyway. Remove our salmon from the pan. Turn the heat up now and put them in a warm place. And we're just going to give our seafood a quick sear before we pop it into our sauce, which has reduced down quite nicely. You can see it's really quite thick now. Okay, just to our pan, we've cooked our salmon in. We're just going to send in our scallops, our king prawns, and our green prawns that have just been shelled and deveined. Sprinkle of pepper. Sprinkle of salt, and we're just going to turn those all around. Just get a little bit of colour on those, and they're going to get thrown in with our sauce, with our chopped up stick. So these don't actually have to cook; they're just going to get a little bit pink. You see, the two different types of prawns will actually be a different colour. Into our sauce now, we're just going to add our spinach. It's actually just on one at the moment, from its lowest speed. And stir that all around. As that spinach wilts in that hot sauce, it will release some of the same moisture as well. And you've got the lovely flavour of the salmon on these forms as well. Just turn them over. Okay, our soup is nicely coloured now. We're just going to pop that straight into that sauce. Okay, 
and let it heat through and get coated in that lovely sauce. You should smell this right, this is amazing. Thanks for suggesting it. Okay, now the sauce has come back up to the boil. The seafood is cooked. It's only taken about two minutes after being browned in the pan. And we're going to serve it over our deliciously cooked Atlantic salmon. Okay, time to serve our delicious Florentine sauce over the top of our salmon. And that will even be delicious on top of our asparagus. Make sure everybody gets plenty. Hope you enjoyed it, Ray. Chiggy Richo's Atlantic Salmon in Florentine Sauce with Idaho potatoes, crusty bread, carrots, asparagus and pumpkin. I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Chiggy Richo channel. And don't forget to please subscribe and do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos every week. And thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day. Hope you enjoy our recipe, Ray.